In the last episode, I found out that my best friend passed away. But then I found a secret note that she left behind under my pillow. So let's go ahead and find out what it says. All right, here we go. It's time. Let me just read this and find out what she said. Oh, whoa. She wrote a lot. It says, Dear Saida, if you're reading this, it probably means I'm dead. I know it's a lot to process, but let me explain. All these years, you've always protected me. You always risked your life for me. It was my turn to repay the favor, even if it cost me my life. It was my turn to protect you. You can finally live your life. You don't have to run anymore. Marcus is gone. My funeral better be lit, and I don't want anyone wearing black. I want everyone to be happy and wearing their cutest outfits. Maybe have some cute guys there. <laughs> well, I think it's safe to say Jess definitely wrote this letter. On a serious note, I have one last favor to ask you. Now that you know about the baby Marcus and I had, I need you to find her. I know it's a lot to ask, but please find her and just make sure she's happy. Make sure she's living a good life. I thought about her every day. If you find her, tell her I loved her. Stay strong. I love you. Even though I'm gone, I'll always be your best friend. Love, Jess. I feel like that was way too much to process all at once. So I guess it's confirmed now. Jess is actually gone. And she did it for me. All these years that we've been running away from Marcus, her crazy ex-boyfriend who's been trying to kidnap us and kill us. It's bittersweet because yes, he's gone, but she's gone too. And now I have to plan my best friend's funeral not only that but she made one request and i have to do it i don't know how i'm going to but i need to find her daughter i don't even know where to begin looking i didn't know jess even had a daughter up until a couple weeks ago i know nothing about her i don't know her name i don't know her age i don't know what adoption center she was sent to how the heck am i gonna find her I need to do this for Jess, but where do I even begin? I could start by looking through Jess's stuff and see if there's any clues or anything like that. But you know what? Let me clean up this place a little bit. I need to start getting my life together. All right, it's not perfect, but at least it's a lot better. I got the dirt out of the way. I sorted out my bedroom and Jess's room. I still can't believe she's gone. She's been in my life since I was like two years old. And just to think she's never going to be around to annoy me and drive me crazy anymore. Okay, I have to keep my head in the game. Jess wanted me to find her daughter and I need to do this for her. She sacrificed her life for me. This is the least I can do. All right, so let me just get on the computer quickly and let's see if I can log into her account and find any kind of emails, anything like that. Luckily, we were best friends, so I know all her passwords and stuff. I even know all her private like Instagram accounts and things like that. So let me just go ahead, have a look, and see if there's anything I can find. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. It's like this little baby girl never existed. Oh my gosh, I wish she would have wrote something in that letter. Let me go have a look at it again and see if there's any clues. Oh, there's nothing. There's nothing in here. Oh my gosh, if she had this baby with Marcus, I'm guessing the baby must have been around, what, like two years old now, a year and a half or something. Wait. I know Jess doesn't have any like evidence of her daughter and stuff, but what if Marcus does? I mean, we know Mark is, is obsessive or was obsessive. So he must have kept some stuff around his house, right? Maybe some pictures, some documents, a birth certificate. I mean, it sounds crazy to say, but he's dead. So breaking into his house isn't going to be a problem. All right, I just got to head over to the other side of town. I'll break into his house. 
He must have something laying around. He tried to hold this against Jess for so many years. I mean, there has to be something. Ah, I see his house. I'm just gonna take a shortcut through here. I'm here. Now, how the heck am I gonna get in? <gasps> Ooh, perfect. The door is open. Oh my gosh, but it's so dark in here. I can't see anything. All right, uh, there's a little bit of light coming in. It'll have to do. Okay, so all we have to do is find his computer or something, a laptop. I mean, it's 2020. Everyone has some kind of like phone, laptop, computer or something. It has to be in here somewhere. Oh, but I know he has a secret basement, but how the heck am I gonna get down there? The door's closed. I could try to glitch in and see if maybe, just maybe I could get in there. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I know how to do this. All right, here we go. Sit, come on, go, go, go. No, it took me outside. Oh, I was so close. Okay, we're gonna give it one more try and see if we could get down there. All right, I have to remember, I'm gonna have to break back out of here though. All right, here we go, here we go. Let me do it closer to this side. Come on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Sit, go, 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 get in, come on. Oh no, I think I'm actually in. Oh my gosh. No, oh, I'm not gonna be able to get down there. You know what, I'm just gonna look through his drawers and stuff. I'm gonna check the rest of the house. Let's see if there's anything there. I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. Wait. What's, oh my gosh, it was right there. The laptop's right there. Okay, this is perfect. Now, all I've gotta do is log on to it. But what the heck is his password? All right, so let's try our first password. What do they always say? Everyone's pass password. One, two, three. Nothing. Oh! Okay, um. Let's try Marcus. Marcus. No. Oh, what could his password be? Okay, um. I know. There's one thing that Marcus loved more than anything in this world. One thing that he was obsessed with. Jess. Okay, let's try that. Jess. Still nothing? Okay. Jessica? No. I love Jess. Ah! Perfect! It worked! It worked! It worked! Okay, this is amazing! All right, now I'm gonna look through all his documents, his pictures, his email, everything. We're gonna try to figure out if we can find anything, anything at all about their daughter. Oh my gosh. You guys, I found the birth certificate. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's open it and see what it says. Are you kidding me? No, her name is blacked out. Oh, probably for like privacy reasons and stuff. No does have her birthday and an exact date. So we know that the baby is two years old and we have the actual birthday. Now, we don't know anything else. But now that we have the birthday, we can go to all the local adoption centers, right? And we could just try to see if there was any child given up for adoption around that time. Maybe it'll give us some clues about the hospital. Okay. This is something, right? So I wasn't able to find anything else, but at least that gives us something. And to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna come back and steal Marcus's laptop. It's not like he's gonna need it anyway. And I could always just keep looking, try to find out if there's anything in his trash bin. I looked through everything. There's nothing else I could find, but you never know. <sighs> All right, so this is something. We have a birth date. It doesn't seem like much, but we can start, and if we could figure out the hospital, that could put us a little bit closer, and then eventually we'll find her name, the adoption center. But they're never gonna give us that information up voluntarily, are they? But maybe if I tell them that the girl's birth parents are both dead, 
maybe they'll give me the information. All right. It's nothing, but at least it's something. <sighs> I'm back home now and I feel a little bit more positive. Still sad, but at least I have something to work towards. But I think that before I start fully like digging into Jess's daughter and stuff, I think we need to plan her funeral. And it's going to be difficult. But at least once that's done and she's laid to rest and we can all, you know, pay our respects to her, then I could start working on trying to find her daughter and it kind of will keep my mind off of things. All right, so now Jess said she wanted a fun funeral. She didn't want anyone to be sad. She didn't want anyone to just wear black and be depressed. She wanted us all to wear our best outfits and be cheerful and happy. And she wanted cute boys. So if that's the kind of funeral she wanted, then that's what we're gonna do. I think what we should do is maybe have a little beach party with everyone there. And then maybe we could build her like a really nice memorial with some like really pretty flowers and stuff. She could have her own little plot. And then whenever we're feeling sad and like we want to talk to her, we can just go there and sit down. And it could be like a beautiful, beautiful, bright garden. I think she would love that. And I have seen all your messages on Instagram and Twitter. And I can't wait to share them at the end of the funeral because Jess meant a lot to me, but she also meant a lot to you guys too. But I've got an idea. As a little goodbye to Jess, just for now, until her funeral, because she deserves at least something. I'm gonna head over to the beach. And I think I'm just gonna wait for the sunset. Maybe have some ice cream. Oh, and I just got an idea. When we're all celebrating Jess at her funeral, maybe we could all bring flowers to the beach and then we can like leave them out into the water. Okay, so Jess's favorite ice cream was strawberry, so we'll grab that in her honor. She always knew I didn't like strawberry too much. <laughs> so we're just gonna sit here, wait for the sunset, and then we're gonna go and find Jess's daughter. But anyway, you guys, I hope you guys had fun watching. If you didn't, make sure you like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.